you, why do they give you a hard time every time I read a review about your dress and your makeup? Why are critics so mean about that? Look at us. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's a reason. I think the reason for, you know, a lot of times the critics, they take a look at the, Oh, God, I'm so nervous I can't talk. How do they be so nervous? They, um, you know, the other night we played Long Beach. 10,000 people. Tonight, we're playing here, and I can't even have my... Day, 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 you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> you know? Anyway, um, what it is, I think when you look a certain way and you project something, you go out and you're out on a limb, I think what happens is, is a lot of times um, people want to throw a rock at you. You know what I'm saying? So the critics don't appreciate the music, which is what it's all about. So didn't you do something very smart when you played Phoenix? Yeah, we yeah. did. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> what happens? What happens? We had a few reviews that saying that you know the poison is just you know it's it's very it's fake you know we we look good we have hairspray it's all makeup it's all a facade there's nothing real so what we said <laughs> so how can you say that that's what I said so what we said is we said listen let's strip it down right to the makeup I mean let's strip it down just to the soul of the music let's take off the makeup take everything off so we went on in boxer shorts just boxer shorts and just played a great song. <laughs> No makeup, I'm telling you. And you it know? went over And it went over, we got like four encores, and I mean, it, you know, you feel, like, just, you feel much better when that happens. You feel you know? like you got to prove yourself, you know what I'm yeah. saying, and, and stuff like that, and, and being the way we are, you know, we definitely had to, you know, it's like, wait a second, we're not taking this, you know what I'm saying? So uh, we went out there and did it in boxer shorts, and it went over great. You know, yep. we have bird legs, I mean, you know, but it's, <laughs> but it still went over, you know? Now, what happened? You're all from a small town. That must have, did, did the town understand you when you, you were coming up? You're from Harrisburg. I'm from yeah. Brooklyn. He's You're from, from Bro Brooklyn. Okay. And Bobby... <laughs> <laughs> Bobby's Where? from... Um, You're from Florida. You're from Florida. Yeah. And I'm Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. I'm going to say Mechanicsburg. Yeah. yeah. And I'm from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Pittsburgh, yeah. So now, how did the four of you link up? Well, what we did is... <laughs> I love her. <laughs> Why not? Go on. All right, they, um, what happened was, is, um, what we did is on the East Coast, me and Bobby and Ricky had formed a band there, and there's no um, place to get signed out there, you know what I'm saying? And you play around, and you play around, and New York's the only place. We figured, let's go someplace where we can, it's either sink or swim. Let's go to California and make big. And it just went like that, and all of us got together out here. And this, I met Cece, as a matter of fact, I heard out you didn't here. like each other. Hold on. First, <laughs> first time I met Cece, this is no lie, we were at the Rainbow Bar and Grill, okay? Home. <laughs> We went to I went in there once. We went to the once. apartment. Once. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Joe once. DiMaggio met Marilyn Monroe there. Yeah. Joe DiMaggio met Marilyn Monroe yeah. there. That's, That's what Mario tells us who owns the place. You know? <laughs> <laughs> You paid me to say that on TV, right? <laughs> but anyway, that's how me and CC met. We got, we were auditioning guitarists, and I handed him a flyer of our band and said, would you be interested in trying out? And he looked at the flyer, laughed, wrinkled it up, and threw it in my face. Needless to say, he's now on our team. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it's like, it's like Anyone who's that obnoxious should definitely be on the same well, side. Let me tell you what you guys are to me. You are the BC boys, but with manners. Thank you. <laughs> I think you're a daughter. We'll be right back with comedian Frank Pace and designer Diane Van Furstenberg, so don't go anywhere. And you, will you do another number later? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Coming up tomorrow, Golden Girl, Rue McClanahan, and Sir Les Patterson from Australia. Pause.